thank you for joining us here today at ACOM's ATD test site. We're in Vidalia, Louisiana, and I'm gonna take you through a little bit of the project that we have going on today. One thing I do wanna make sure that you understand is that this is just one setup. We can actually work with any of your setups, whether it's a specific pole or on the side of a wall, mounting the sensors to that, any different type of camera. What we have today though is four poles. Three of them are these smart city poles that have solar panels. Uh, we also have another sensor that's gonna be mounted to the side of a cabin. In this specific setup, you'll see it's a 25 foot pole. You have the ATD sensor and then a PTZ camera. Again, that's just today. You can use a multi-sensor camera, stationary camera, whichever you currently have or whatever you would like to use in the future, we can bolt into. For this project today though, what you'll see is you'll see gunfire, you'll see our sensor actually detect it. We'll move the camera to that pinpoint location. At that point, we'll be able to transmit that communication to the VMS or your command center. We're able to do that in two different ways. The first is the muzzle blast. That's kind of an old technology. Most people can do that. What we found over the last 25 years dealing with the military is that we have a better shot at giving you a pinpoint location if we're able to detect the ballistic actually traveling. And that's what we're capable of doing. I hope you like what you see. If you do, feel free to reach out to us, uh, ask any questions, or if you just want some information. If you wanna see this in person, uh, maybe you can come down to our test site um, out here in the woods and we can do it live for you. Hi, I'm Mike Arnold with ACOM, and today we're back at our ATD ballistic test site location at our monitoring site. Right now we have our four PTZ cameras that Bobby talked about earlier into our VMS solution. Bobby is on our test site right now with an AR-15 shooting 223 ammunition. He's going to fire a couple shots so we can see how the cameras react to that. You can see the cameras alerted. We have a red box popping up that picked up his signal. If it was one camera, it would zoom into that one camera. If it was multiple sensors, it would show all four like we have here. Bobby's moving on the screen. If we wanted to follow him as an active shooter in our VMS, we could do that. Right now he's moving. He's gonna take another couple shots and we're gonna see how the cameras follow him and react. As you can see here, we have Bobby here, we have Bobby here, he's behind the building over here, but our cameras moved to his location. After the VMS has, has alarmed a threat that it's detected through the gunshot, whether it's through text messaging or email, we can take a digital zoom into that video and capture the image of the shooter's face, what clothes he's wearing, and a brief description of him so people can A, avoid that area or avoid that shooter and it also helps with law enforcement when they're looking for that active shooter as he moves or leaves the scene. We can integrate with our technology into any VMS system, any control system, or whatever alert system you'd like to provide. Smart cameras, multi-sensor cameras, PTZ cameras, easy plug and play integration with our ATT sensors through OnVIEF protocol. We can set up a solution that works best for your site, whether it's a standalone sensor with GPS mapping or alarming, or you want the whole shebang with the video and the smart cameras and on-site notification. We can do that for you.